Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm sure we mentioned some time back in our thousand plus videos that Kirby is jumping into Oklahoma in the real estate game up there. So Kirby, it's been over a year now. How is that market treating you so far? What have, what have you experienced? What are some of the hardships and some of the benefits maybe that you've seen out of the market? I'm saying the jury is still out. The jury is still out. Well, I mean, for me, from my perspective, um, actually, one of my properties that I have in Oklahoma is right behind me. This is the inside of it. Um, you know, I was trying to be like Alex and be fancy with the, the beam ceilings and ceiling <laughs> fans and fireplace and stuff like that. But the, I mean, honestly, the jury is still out. Um, I'm not going to say, oh, it's the worst place ever to buy rentals. I'm not going to say it's the best. I mean, it, I had flaws and mistakes that I made on my part also. Um, one thing that I would recommend, and I'm not trying to throw slight at any anybody uh, because there is some realtors and, and property managers that watch these videos that's in Oklahoma. But I say do very high due diligence on property management. And that's not just in Oklahoma, but that's in everywhere you invest. If you're going to use property managers, do severe due diligence. Uh, me, for instance, when I started in Oklahoma, um, I have a realtor, which is outstanding there. They was finding me properties that was just amazing deals that penciled on paper amazingly. So their job as a realtor, nothing wrong. But the thing is, is, and I'm, I'm finding this out more and more as I go. Realtors are realtors. Property managers are property managers. And so what I've been asking a lot was when I have a realtor, if I use a realtor, which I rarely use, and I ask them, do they know property management companies or do they do property management? And then for the most part, people say yes. But you should let realtors be realtors and property managers be property managers. Realtors, their primary objective is being realtors. They are buyers and sellers. Property managers, their number one thing is property management. And then a secondary market, you know, if they have, you know, people, you know, like investors that they deal with, they might help sell properties. So the secondary market is buying and selling. So you should always focus on them. You know, realtors, and I'm not... I'm not here trying to bash realtors that's great property managers, but for the most part, from what I've seen, you need to separate the two, realtor, property management. And then so far right now, the property management that I had, it hasn't been the best. It's, I'm not gonna lie, it's cost me money. Um, the operation is not as smooth. So right now I'm in a transition moving from the first property management that I was using to another property management, but the jury is still out. Uh, I'm not going to just sit here and just say, oh, the whole state is crap. The area I'm in, it's just, it's not performing the way that I thought it was going to perform at the Genesis. So I'm adjusting property management. I did way more due diligence looking for a property manager and switch property management. Uh, we're doing some rehab on the properties that I have just completing one project, moving to the next project. Uh, and then I'm gonna give them about two or three more months, uh, maybe four more months, right during the you know the moving season, you know, go through the whole summer, and then if it's not performing, I'm gonna have to cut sling load. I'm just gonna move out of the market in general. But that's where I'm at right now. Uh, far as performance, um, when I first bought the properties, got ten and ten, perfectly. Then. One side, actually the side that I'm looking at, I mean, the, I'm showing right here on the video, the property management wasn't uh, on top of things like I'm a no pets guy. I mean, I know some people are going to be like, oh, well, that's the reason why you're not performing because you're no pets. But the thing is, again, I, like we said, in pre like I said in the previous video, I'm a pet lover. It's not that I don't like the pets. I don't like the owners of pets because a lot of pet owners are not clean. So, of course, uh, I finally get the property management to do a walkthrough. Uh, and on the leases, strictly say no pets. They got two dogs in there. Dogs. 
peeing and pooping all over the carpet. Now that's why you see hardwood floors. Uh, peeing and pooping all over the carpet. They're tearing up stuff. They're late on the rent. And actually the tenant of this of this unit, when we finally provided the eviction notice, because they was late on rent all the time, they actually stole the washer and dryers out of, out of the place. Yeah, maybe, and, and I'm saying they, they stole it. They probably didn't steal it during the eviction. They probably sold the washer and dryer to pay the rent one time that they was already behind, <laughs> but still. But anyway, went to court, won a judgment, but do I think I'm gonna see the money in the future? No, it just, you know, just kind of as a loss. I mean, I always, when things go wrong, the first person, like I said, I always blame myself. I always blame myself to see what I could do better. And then once I blame myself and see what I could do better, then I fix those errors and then then reload and go try to knock it out the park again. So transitioning to this new property manager, I think it's only been for you, what, like about a month or two? Mm -hmm. uh, how how smooth has the transition been? Like, I know it's too early to tell, but have do you see any difference in this property manager than you did in the first one? Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, first, just how, how much it takes to get the properties up. So the previous property manager, I tried to turn the properties when I had the previous property manager. They said, oh, well, it's going to cost X amount of money. And they said, oh, the property's ready to rent. But especially in the moving season, nothing, especially like after February, nothing was moving. They said they was getting a lot of a lot of traffic, but nothing was moving. And then now with the new property manager, come to find out after looking at pictures and stuff like that, it still needed a thousand dollars or more work from the previous uh, tenants that was in there. So I just paid the, I'm, you know, paying to get a rehab, get it up to snuff. Cause I don't want no excuses. I don't want to say, oh, well you didn't, you didn't rehab the property. You didn't turn the property correctly. So I'm just, you know, I'm buying the bullet, eating the money on there. And then, like I said, I'm in a trial and error period. See how it works. The jury's still out on the new property manual. I did my due diligence. Uh, I believe this property management is more efficient. They have bigger contacts, bigger reach, uh, bigger advertisement, bigger everything, bigger operation in general. Um, but the jury's still out. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, well, everything's fine now. Because uh, I'm, I'm scrutinizing everything that's going on. So the jury's still out. So if this property manager doesn't work out and you said that you wouldn't, probably pull out of the market in Oklahoma. What would you do? Would you sell the properties to get out of yeah. that? Yeah, I would I would sell the, I would sell the properties to get out of the market. If they're not performing, and that's the thing, and that's the problem a lot of quote unquote investors have. They want to hold on to stuff. They get married to properties, they get married to stocks, they get married to stuff, and then they just sit there and just go through it, the trials and tribulations like they in a real life marriage. No. This house is just a house. You know, I, you know, count my lumps. If it don't work, I just count my lumps and say, all right, I'd sit back after. I mean, if I do have to sell them, you know, hopefully the, the goal is to at least break even or make a profit. The goal is to make a profit, but of course, at least break even. And then I go back into the research lab and see everything that I did wrong. See why I go through the research that I did to choose the market that I chose. See the errors in the ways of that. Go through that process. And then I'm not quitting the investment market. I'm just the the market that I chose to be in. I'm going to look to see where the errors that was in my ways and then regroup and then reallocate the capital to another market. Okay. Well, guys, with all that being said, if you have any questions for Kirby, let us know in the comments section down below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And we'll see you guys in the next one.